Keeping the Chargers here in San Diego has been an around-the-clock job for supporters. Just a day after hearing that personal seat licenses or PSLs could be sold to cover the costs of a new stadium, a well-known San Diego political fundraiser came forward offering to collect money. San Diego 6's Gary Buzel is live in the newsroom with details of these plans, including how the stadium issue could affect Mayor Faulkner's political future. Gary? Derek and Brooke, the issue revolves around where are we getting the money and will the Chargers stay if we can raise it? It's how they sell it, so it's possibly viable, but clearly it is going to be a tougher sale sell in San Diego than it would be in Los Angeles. Political analyst John Dadian weighs in on using PSLs or personal seat licenses for a new Charger stadium in San Diego. PSLs are similar to box seats, where a company or individual can have a license to buy a particular seat during the entire season. It's associated with the best seats, so the seats between the 20s or in the luxury boxes or in the club seats. PSLs have been successful with the 49ers at their new $1.2 billion home in San Jose. Experts say this could generate $100 million, still short of what it takes to build today's mega stadium. So how do we make up the gap? This is where our tax dollars could come in. Two out of every three dollars for a marketplace like us would probably come from public sources. That's a tough nut to swallow and we know that. The LA Times reports besides selling PSLs, a fundraising program could be in the works. Gene Freelove, a political fundraiser, has come forward to hit up local businesses for money that could go to the San Diego Stadium or the task force directly. Freelove did not return our calls for an interview. Chargers counsel Mark Fabiani said on Friday, in light of the new fundraising efforts that have emerged today, we are more interested than ever in Mayor Faulkner's answers to these questions. It's going to boil down to this. Will they make more money up in L.A. than they will down here? And once that question is answered, is, is it worth it for them to move? And if the Chargers do pack up and leave, what will be the mayor's political future when it comes time for re-election in 2016? So I think the mayor's looking well, which is why I think the poll numbers are going to bear him out when it comes to his campaign in a year from now. So the question is, how much is the new San Diego Stadium going to cost? That we won't know for sure until the end of May when the new stadium report is finalized. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Gary Buzel, San Diego 6 News.